Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Folks, it is great to be here tonight. Great to be here. Actually, it's great to be anywhere tonight because <laughs> tensions are building between President Donald Trump and North Korean president and disappointed volleyball Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Now, here's the deal. This is what I'm talking about. This is the tension I'm talking about. If you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, uh, I hope it's lined with lead, because <laughs> this past weekend, the U.N. imposed harsh sanctions on North Korea to try to get them to curb their nuclear program. North Korea responded by threatening revenge on the U.S. So, renowned deal artist Donald Trump... <laughs> You've heard of this guy. <laughs> fans. Trump fans. <laughs> Donald Trump saw their threat of apocalypse and raised them one Armageddon. North Korea best not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Oh, we've seen it before. <laughs> and you know what else we've seen? You using that phrase. We have a movement the likes of which this world has never seen before. We will unleash an energy revolution the likes of which we have never seen before. Massive economic development deals the likes of which there has never been. I land at airports, the likes of which you've never seen. <laughs> that, that is empty rhetoric, the likes of which you always use. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know that our president sees the fire of nuclear war as being on the same level as a nice airport he went to. <laughs> I had a meal at Chili's 2, <laughs> the likes of which you've never seen before. <laughs> now, if threatening nuclear war seems a little seat of the giant pants, um, that's because it was. Apparently, Trump improvised fire and fury because the paper he had in front of him was an opioid fact sheet. <laughs> Look, I get it. I've done improv. It can be tough, you know? <laughs> Here's what he should have done. He should have started with getting a suggestion from the audience. Can I have a geographical location and a way the world will end, okay? I heard Southeast Asia and thermonuclear conflicts. And Trump's message of don't threaten us or we will rain down fire and fury was so intimidating that North Korea immediately threatened a missile strike on the U.S. territory of Guam. Look, North Korea! Leave Guam out of this. They're a U.S. territory. That means they don't participate in the elections, okay? They didn't vote for Trump, <laughs> just like most of Americans. <laughs> Innocent. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here's why it's a little spooky, because North Korea now claims to be able to reach Guam with their missiles and destroy it with enveloping fire. Enveloping fire? Is Kim Jong-un launching a missile or a series of erotic novels? <laughs> looks good. He looks, he looks good. I misjudged him. Now, some are saying that Trump's atomic improv made things worse, but Secretary of State and proud eyebrow American Rex Tillerson <laughs> is standing by his man. What the president was doing is sending a strong message to North Korea in language that Kim Jong-un would understand. And I think Americans should sleep well at night. Why? What's happening during the day? What aren't you telling us? <laughs> but okay, okay, Grandpa wants us to sleep well at night, which is why he's come out with a new book, Rex Tillerson's Sleepy Time Tales. Okay. Here we go. Over here. There once was a badger, and he was elected leader of the whole meadow, even though most of the meadow didn't vote for him. <laughs> he had weird hair and tiny little paws, and he was obsessed. He was obsessed with a local fox and all of his friends. 
Like, he watched the Fox and Friends way too much. <laughs> to the point where folks were like, don't you have badger stuff you should be doing? <laughs> then one day, the badger got into a fight with a pudgy wolf, who was somehow even crazier, and both of them had nuclear weapons and distant, unpleasable fathers. <laughs> and... Uh... Yikes. Uh... <laughs> It's just a book. We're probably going to be fine. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sleep tight, kids, and say your prayers. <laughs> <laughs>